In the matter of Eric Orozco, 221035. And appearance counsel? Morning, Your Honor. Christopher Chemke, appearing behalf of my clients. Time we consent to the matter being heard via Zoom. Mr. Orozco, can you please state your name for the record? Eric Orozco. Orozco. Okay, I apologize. All right, and today is the date scheduled for probation violation. Your client's on probation for operating while intoxicated and driving while license suspended. And it's alleged that he failed to appear for drug tests August 22nd, tested positive for marijuana August 23rd, failed to appear for drug testing August 30th, and failed to appear for drug testing September 14th. And counsel? Yes, Your Honor, I've gone over my client's <laughs> rights to have a hearing in which you could contest these violations that will not be necessary. All right, Mr. Orozco, please raise your right hand. You sound me swear from a testimony about to give this man be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I solemnly swear. All right, thank you. All right, and so you heard the allegations that were placed on the record, correct? Yes. As to those allegations, sir, how do you plead? I uh, guilty. And you've gone over the probation violation of ICE rights form with your attorney, correct? Uh, yeah. And you understand all of those rights? Uh, yes. You also understand that by entering into a plea, that you'll be waiving your right to a contested hearing. Yes. And you've gone over the possible penalty as a result of your plea, correct? Uh, yeah. Is that yes? Uh, yeah, yes. And the recommendation specifically is to revoke your probation, close the case without improvement, Pay a $50 probation violation fee and 30 days jail. Do you understand that? Oh man. Um I'm just I'm, I'm making you aware, sir, as to what the possible penalty is, and that that's the recommendation. Do you understand that? Okay, yes. Okay. And knowing all that, do you still want to continue with your plea? Oh uh, yes. Okay. And counsel, if you can please, pardon you. Well, I'm sorry, before, um, has anybody promised or anything, threatened you or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea today? No. All right, counsel, if you can please, pardon your client. Yes, as term condition of your probation, you were to test as ordered. Is that accurate? Yes. All right, you in fact missed uh, at least two dates, specifically August 22nd and August 30th. Is that accurate? Um, uh, yes. All right, then furthermore, a test that you took on August 23rd reflected the use of marijuana. Is that accurate? Uh, yeah. Satisfied, Your Honor. All right, the court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violation hearing and indicate that that's technical violations two, three, four, and five. And counsel adds to the recommendation. Your Honor, I'd ask that uh, jail time be suspended at this time. I would note that if this was simply a circumstance where my client uh, had done nothing with probation, obviously jail would be something we would be very concerned about. Not that we're not concerned about it now, but rather to reflect on the fact that he has done a lot of his other terms conditions. I asked him about the marijuana use. He indicated he took a, a CBT supplement, a CBD, because he was having issues sleeping. Uh, but judge, based on some of the outstanding strides he made, is made with probation, we'd ask that there be a jail review uh, when determining the appropriate admonishment for this case. Thank you, judge. All right, thank you. The court will note that um, Mr. Rosco was sentenced to 24 months probation August of 2022. And <clears throat> that there was a probation violation hearing, well, there's a probation violation scheduled for September 2nd. It was rescheduled to September 14th. And that hearing was held 
Your client was found guilty on the violation, five days jail, 30 days, 30 days on the alcohol tether. And then there doesn't appear to have been any violations until just recently. And sir, what, um, what's going on? Why did you miss all those drug tests? Um, I mean, you know, I, I absolutely do my best, my absolute best to get to my drug test. And I have, I always make it to my drug test. I, I to whenever my, my, uh, my color's called, I always make it. And, uh, the issue is I either cannot, I don't have any urine because it'll be right after work or something. I've been, I've been moving all day, sweating. And uh, they just tell me to come back tomorrow or come back a certain day. And I just, I, I don't make it. But, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a, uh, other than that, you know, I, I've been doing my absolute best to get this probation and, uh, uh, you know, getting a lot of uh, relapse prevention done. Uh, you know. Sir, if you're tested today, what's in your system? If I were to test nothing, I don't, yeah, nothing. If I were to test today, my everything would come up negative. I'll be told completely clean. Okay. So I still am not really hearing why you work, you didn't show up for your testing. August 22nd, and then you show up on the 23rd, and then you didn't show up on the 30th, and then you didn't show up on September 14th. Whoa, that's three dates? Yes. Uh, for, uh, as, like, from what I'm aware, I've only missed one day. I mean, I check every, absolutely every day to, uh, for my color. Like, uh, that's one of, like, my priorities that I have to get done, you know. But from what I'm aware, I've only been, uh, I think it was the 8th of September. The 8th? No, sir. On the 1st, you were there, but you couldn't produce a sample. That was September 1st. There's not a missed tester for, uh, would you say the eighth? No? Yeah. Is that yes? Uh, from, what I, from what I'm aware, I've only missed one day this week. This month, I mean. This month for September, yes, September 14th. Yeah. But you have uh, August 30th and August 22nd that you missed. Oh, well, I, I mean, I didn't know. I can, uh, you know, I can start getting tighter about that. I, uh, like I said, I do my best. Sometimes I get out of work really late, so I just check the next day. But, uh, you know, it's it's always a priority to me, uh, to, me to get the those tests done. Okay, well, sir, here's, what's, here's what I'm unclear on, and you've not yet given me an answer you seem to have been doing well from September of last year until August of this year. So you were calling every day because I don't have a violation that's been before the court. So you've been going for your testing. So August, you fell off the radar somehow and you stopped your testing. So what happened in August that you stopped getting to your testing as you have been for the last, for the previous 11 months? Um, you know what? I, I honestly could not tell you because usually I get my sheets before I go to get tested, but I haven't been getting assigned lately. She just tells me that, that it's okay. But um, 
I, I can assure you that it was probably just me not being able to urinate or um, just uh, te- just uh, if I'm not or or my urine was too white. There's been instances where it's too white and they they tell me to either come back tomorrow or I can't get a test. But uh, I mean, the the results, I mean, the proof will show you that, you know, I these meetings, these are uh, these. Uh, urine tests are, you know, prioritized by me and those, you know, considered important by me. Sir, I don't doubt that that was the case up until August of 20 of this year. And sir, if you were there and you couldn't produce a sample, then there would be a note to that effect. But the note reads, did not report for drug and ETG testing. Did not report for drug and ETG testing. Positive for marijuana, for THC, Your caller was called on the 22nd. You didn't show up for testing, but you went the next day and showed up for testing. There also indicates when your when your specimen was diluted. So those are days you weren't there, sir. And not only that, but then you tested positive for marijuana. Yes, ma'am. I have a... Uh... I have nothing to say to that, you know, other than the, uh, I can do better. You know what I mean? Well, when you say nothing to say to that, sir, you've already pled guilty. So what did you, when did you use the marijuana? I think it was like two, three weeks ago that I took some CBD because I wasn't, I wasn't able to sleep. You know, I wasn't, I was having sleep insomnia. Oh, my eyes were bloodshot red. I just was not. I was having a horrible time sleeping. Like the hold on, two, two or three weeks ago. I'd say yeah, like three weeks ago. Okay, well that's after the violation. So then you would test positive for marijuana, still I'm sure, right? Sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Are, are you, are, is there something that you're reading over there? You keep looking to the left on your phone. No, I just, I'm unfamiliar with these, with these, uh, with these, uh, dates. And I, uh, like I said, I've been doing my best for the past year. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, alcohol is not even a subject for me anymore. And, uh, been getting my test done, my therapy done. Other than what I have to prove, I, I, I don't have anything to say. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do marijuana like that. I don't, I don't really. I was just having a trouble. I was having trouble sleeping, and I, I tried going to sleep, and I wasn't. I still wasn't able to sleep after that. Just got paranoid. Okay. Well, sir, you have technical violations two, three, four, and five now. And so the court is going to revoke probation, close this case without improvement. Here, they have fixed our probation violation fee. The court's going to indicate 30 days jail. You are to serve 10 days. We're going to suspend 20. With a jail review on October 30th. And at 9.30 AM. And so you're going to report today. You're going to email it to Michelle. She'll give you the information regarding that. Wait, so uh, I'm not, am I serving time? Sir, I just indicated 30 days jail. You're going to serve 10. I'm going to suspend 20. The other 20, whether you serve it or not, will depend on your continued testing and testing negative upon your release. 
Can can we suspend all thirty? No, sir. You now have five violations. Five. You previously served five on another violation. So I'm indicating ten days jail with twenty days suspended. I uh I have a horrible time in there. I get really anxious and I start throwing up and all that. I and not only in there but out here, you know, too. And uh like I said, I have a horrible time mentally in there. And I I have a year's worth of uh proof that I've been doing good and uh been getting my drug tests. All that. Sir, I, sir, I understand that, and the court gave you consideration for that. However, you now have five violations. And so the order of the court is 30 days jail, 20 years suspended, serving 10. What is your work schedule, sir? Um, Monday through Saturday. Okay, and where is it you work? Uh, Tile. It's just called Tile? Michigan Tiles. All right, well, make sure you have a conversation with your boss so you can report tonight. Uh, can we uh can I check in some other some other day other than tonight? Okay, sir. Um so what are you requesting for a date to to report? Um I was thinking oh, ten days, that's insane. Um can we sir, do this? Sir, five five violations of this while you're on probation is insane. I know, I know you're on there. I've been doing my best. Oh uh, the second, I guess. The second? Which for the second of October? Yeah. Yes, next Monday? No, I'm not giving you a full week, sir. I'll give you until Friday. You have to report September 25th, or I mean, sorry, September 29th. Oh, yeah. Email over to probation and to Ms. Shaw, and she'll give you that information regarding that. If Sounds you don't good. Report, sir, if you don't report, sir, it won't be issued for your arrest. Okay, so who do I have to report to? Ms. Shaw will give you all that information, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Your Honor. Yes. Am I going to continue being on probation, or is it all over? Because I paid my court fee. I paid. Uh, I paid no. my court. Sir, no probation's all done. Email them to Ms. Shaw. She'll give you the information regarding how to report and when you need to report, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, please email it to her by 945. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go off the record. And I'm sorry, counsel, you spoke to everybody that's already...